All right, guys, these are the chickens that we got from Baker's Green Acres, and I want to apologize to Mark Baker because my phone had a brain fart and uh, crashed, and I lost all the video footage I've had prior to this video. So I'm really disappointed about that. But um, Mark and I did a really nice video about his farm and what he does, his chickens and his mangalitsa pigs and uh, some of the trials and struggles he's been through recently. And that's how Mark Baker and I became friends. But uh, all, his, all of his links will be underneath this video. And I just wanted to show you that uh, he participated in Cas vs. Wild Season 6 this year. And the way he participated is he offered up some chickens that we can bushcraft cook when we are out here at Cas vs. Wild. So... I'm really excited about that because I myself have never done it, but uh, Ryan has done it. He's cooked chickens before, and we are we are in the process of um, making a coop, and right now we have them on a leash. They're being very nice and polite right now. They are just kind of sitting right now, but uh, right here is the leash system that we have them on. If you can see the, uh, the paracord rope, that goes to their feet. So they they are somewhat free ranging right now. It's not like they are just, uh, you know, running around free going crazy, but they are somewhat free range. So they're not, you can clearly see they're not stressed. They're, uh, they're fine being out here. And uh, we've got uh, food and water for them over there. And that's their uh, their temporary coop right there. But uh, that's how we transported them, nice and safely, you know, in the the, the transport unit there. But uh, just want to thank Mark Baker for offering up the chickens and uh, being a part of Casper's Wild Season 6. I've known Mark for about uh, three years now and uh, always stop at his farm on the way up to Casper's Wild, catch up for a couple hours. Shows me the farm a little bit here and there, the new things going on, but... Um, when we get to the point of harvesting these chickens, I will continue this video. And like I said, all of Mark's links will be underneath, including all of my links as well. So don't forget to check those out. What we've done here is started taking stakes just over two feet long, like this, right here. And you just stick them in the ground, trying to keep somewhat of a circle going on. Stick them in a, enough, far enough in the ground so the chickens can't pull them out. And you want to make sure they're not too brittle. Uh, they need to be sturdy enough to do the job. And you don't want the gaps too big. If the gaps are too big, the chickens can get out. And it doesn't take too much of a gap for them to get out of. And, uh, this is just the first step, and there's a few more steps after this that we'll get to later on in the video. Okay, so this is uh, the coop so far. We're still going to put a roof on it here in a few minutes. But uh, basically you shove a whole bunch of sticks in the ground, uh, close enough together so the chickens can't squeeze through, and then you weave some other sticks around. So what we're going to do is just give you a walk around. And uh, this is the idea that uh, Ryan had to uh, make make the uh, the hen house a uh, chicken coop per se, and it's bushcraft. And I, I I actually think it came out really really cool. It was a really good idea. Um, the cross members you see right now are going to be what's the roof, so they don't fly away, and then they're going to be somewhat free ranging, even more so than they are now. So I, I'm really excited that uh, we came up with this idea, and Ryan and I both worked on it together. But, um, you know, this this is just one way, you know, people have left comments on the video that I made. It says, what do you want to see? And some of you said that you want to see some community aspect of it. You know, and this is an excellent idea, you know, when stuff hits the fan, of creating a homestead situation. And... Uh, 
you know, to answer that question, here's one thing that you could do is uh, build your own chicken coop, per se. If you could find some chickens or barter some chickens or something, uh, here's an excellent opportunity for you to understand a community aspect of it or a homesteading aspect of it during stuff hits the fan situation. I'm basically using all dead down wood for the most part. And it's just basic we basket weaving. So. Yeah, it, it definitely is. And uh, just to kind of give you a real good close-up of the fencing, that's all that we've done is pretty much just, just weave it all in. And uh, it looks really, really cool. So uh, when we get the whole thing completed, I'll uh, get back to you then. All right, guys, so here's the finished product of the chicken coop, <coughs> the hen house, whatever you want to call it. That's... Uh, Ryan thought of, and I can honestly say that, uh, Ryan, it was uh, a great, great uh, idea and a great project. Fuck. But uh, you can see how we kind of put a makeshift roof over it so they wouldn't fly away. And uh, you can clearly see that they can't get out because of the, uh, the, the, the fence that we made, like Ryan referenced, is like a basket weaving, essentially. So uh, this looks great. I mean, just another fantastic bushcrafting project. Now, I, wanna, I do want to tell you one thing, that this project here was very time-consuming. I mean, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, may not look like much to you, but to put all these stakes in the ground and then, and then weave the fence and then weave the roof, per se, uh, you know, this, this took almost a whole day to make this. Between the gathering, the staking, the weaving, and all that stuff, it was... Uh, it was quite the project so um again just an excellent excellent bushcraft project excellent bushcraft idea and uh anything else you want to add ryan you could house i mean we've only got two chickens in here and if you're only temporarily housing birds in here to eat periodically you know for temporary purposes you could probably house seven or eight chickens in here as long as you're eating them or if uh you were out in the wild and you didn't bring chickens with you you're catching birds say you're say you are uh going to bushcraft here long term and you were going to catch pheasants you could catch pheasants in your bird snares and then bring them over here and put them in this cage and you could probably put 10 pheasants in here as long as you were rotating them out and eating them so, so this, is, this is a great idea during uh, stuff hits the fan almost like uh you know uh almost like a homestead almost yeah Pheasants, uh, ducks, you could catch probably maybe six ducks and put them in here. Maybe seven to ten pheasants, five to seven chickens, you know, something along those lines. Yeah, that's great. I mean, uh, if, if I were to guess, I would say this is probably about 12, 14 feet across. Uh, it's, uh, it's about eight feet wide, ten feet long. Okay, and great. One of the main ways to protect it, like we have a dog here, which guards it. But the best thing to do if you don't have a dog with you to protect it is for the males to pee a perimeter about two feet out away from this cage. You can, you can pee a perimeter around the, the bird cage. And that will keep stuff like weasels and other uh, um, uh, predators away from the cage. I've been doing that for two years out of my property. And uh, we haven't had a single wild predator attack on our property for any of our animals and, uh, for, for the last two years. And uh, um, so to keep them safe, and as you can see, they've been out here for, uh, since Saturday, uh, Saturday night, and now it's Monday. And uh, we haven't had any issues or anything like that. And if females will attract wild animals, male urine will not attract uh, wild animals. Male human urine will keep people away unless you're in Africa then you'll track lions and tigers but gotcha excellent so uh, we're gonna wrap up this uh, episode here of the uh, bushcrafting uh, hen house and uh, I can honestly say this was definitely one of the greatest ones that we've ever done um, absolutely fant fantastic and uh, Ryan engineered it so uh, just want to say thanks again you helped out a lot Thanks, buddy.